Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this exciting tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of creating your very own AI-generated movie trailer. It's really quite easy guys, let's begin. Go to the YouTube homepage, then type a movie trailer you want to create. For this example, we will make Godzilla minus one movie trailer. Search for the official movie trailer and then press enter then click on the link and then copy the YouTube link. Now, go to any YouTube downloader online and then download the video of the trailer. Once the download is completed, open the video into a full screen. Now we need to capture each scene in the trailer. Make sure that you only capture the scene with less motion. This is important so that Midjourney can better understand our images. Once you find a scene that you like, now press Command, Shift 5 to use the screenshot option and then capture the entire screen. Do this over and over again for each scene you find in the video. You can always pause and rewind and take captures until the end of the video. Once you have captured all the scene, the next step is to use Mid Journey to generate images for each scene. But first, let us move all our captured images to a new folder. We will call it Godzilla minus one. Now let's move all the captured images to the new folder. The next step, go to Midjourney via Discord. Make sure that you have a private server for your Midjourney so you can easily track your work. As you can see, I have two private servers. I will use one to upload the captured scene and the other one to generate new images. To upload the captured scene, use the mid journey prompt forward slash describe, then press enter, click on the upload image option, then upload each captured scene and press enter. Now copy the results of the descriptions and then go to the second server. Then press the prompt forward slash imagine, then paste the description. But before you press enter, make sure that you do the following. Remove the numbers and replace the dimensions with double colons. but leave the last dimension. Add space dash dash style raw. Now press enter. Make sure that you do this for all the captured images. Also, don't forget to delete the images that you have already described. So as you have guessed, this process will take a very long time. Let me speed things up and we'll be back. Okay, we have generated all our images from the scene. We also have picked the best image from the group of four. Now we can download all our generated images. Go to the Midjourney website's homepage. You need to log in to your account and go to home. And for each image, click the save button. Midjourney did a very good job at describing the image and also generating a very similar image to the reference image. The images we have generated is on the left, while the reference image that we captured is on the right. As you can see, they are very similar. The next step is images generated into videos. Open a Discord app and open Pika Labs. You can join a private threads to make the workflow easy. Click on the threads and join anyone with less users. Use the command forward slash create and press enter once. Then type dash FPS space 24, but wait, 
Before you press enter, click the More button and upload image. You need to click on the More button and then Image Upload. Each image generated by Midjourney. Now press enter twice. Repeat this for all the images. And yes, you guessed it right. This will also take a lot of time. So I will do the same thing to all the images and we'll be right back. Now that we have converted all our images to videos, we have a small problem. All the videos have Pika Labs watermarks, but I have a solution to that. Using Imiphone Mark Go, we can easily remove the watermarks. Do this for all the videos. Guys, I will skip to the end so you can see the result without watermarks. As you can see on the right side, we can see the Pika Labs watermark, while on the left side, the watermark is gone. So this really works. Let's take a look at another example. The video with a destroyer on the right side has a watermark, and on the left side, the watermark is gone. So as you can see, this is a very good tool use to remove watermarks on videos. Now for the final step. I am going to use CapCut to edit the videos and add no copyright music to it. I'm not going to walk through the entire editing process, but I will show you how to get around. But if you have any questions, drop a comment on the video. Also guys, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. We will be doing more tutorials on this channel. Also comment in the video, what other tutorials do you want us to make about the use case of AI? Let's create a project on CapCut. Choose a dimension for YouTube. It's best you pick 16.9. Now we import our videos and music. Let's bring all this into CapCut. Since this is not an editing video, I am going to speed things up from here and we'll be right back. Done guys for the final trailer video, let's watch.